Hello guys, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, 2D arrays. So yeah, just to understand um, what's uh, arrays. So yeah, arrays are actually variables as well that are used to store um, multiple values. So just in short, we use um, arrays to actually store multiple values in one single variable instead of separate variables uh, for each value. So we have quite a number of uh, dimensions in, in arrays, um, which are called actually multiple dimensions. So the one that we're going to talk about today is 2D array, but C Sharp um, supports uh, multiple di dimensions up to um, 32 dimensions. Okay, so yeah, to actually declare a 2D array, for example, int, um, this is the way that you actually declare a 2D array, and then you put um, a colon there in between, and then, yeah, this is actually how you declare um, um, a 2D array. So this, this means that um, this, array, this value, values array is going to have uh, two rows and two columns. So let's say you want to put a value on uh, row 00, zero which will be uh, the first uh, item. So you can actually say um, uh, for values on row 00, zero should be should be one. And then this is how you actually end on uh, adding. So in short, it will be just to show you how this will look like, it will be something like like this in sort of a matrix format. It would be something like one, let's say for now we haven't added the other values, zero, and then it would be zero, zero. So this is sort of like um, how it adds. Uh, that's how the matrix will actually look like. I mean, in terms of a 2D array. So if you continue to add values, we can add values on different uh, indices as well. As we go, um, to just make this more fun, Let's solve um, um, a hacker rank uh, challenge here that we have. That's talking about uh, 2D arrays as well. So this challenge is saying given a um, six by six 2D array, um, something like this. It's a six by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, going down. Uh, and our glass in A is a subset of values with indices falling. Uh, in this pattern in uh, arrays graphical um, um, representation. So as you can see, this is what they mean when they mean uh, the hourglass. They want us to develop something like this from, from given this whole thing. So quite an easy example to understand. Um, it's um yeah it's uh, let's just go through everything and just see um so there are 16 hourglasses in array um an hourglass sum is the number of hourglass values calculate the hourglass sum for um every hourglass in in the array uh, then print the maximum hourglass um the array will always be a uh, six by six so this is an important thing to take note as well in terms of our uh, boundaries that we would actually uh, loop through it's saying it's always going to be six by six so it's always going to be six rows and six columns uh, which is a good one as well so yeah so we want to retain the the sum of our glasses for example in something like this we need to count how many our glasses something like this that we can actually uh come up with here is an example and it's saying from this this array there is 16 hour glasses so that means that we need to calculate this part uh from nine to negative nine here as well as this as well as this and take one two three one two three four as well something like this and then we go to the next we come count from here as well up until we finish the whole the whole array so it's saying this we can actually get um 16 of those there is uh, another example here that shows that this uh sample input array and it's saying it returns um 19. 
So to just look at it again, it it's actually saying um, from here we can print this first one, which is one 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 one, and then we print one uh, in between, and then we print one 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 as well from here. The next one will be from this second one 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 zero, and then we print zero here and print one one zero. Yeah, this one. Uh, the third one will be uh from the last one one zero zero and then zero and one zero zero yeah this one as well and we continue just like that i think you guys have understand the, the question so we just need to count how many hour classes uh that we can actually get or uh, from this um i've already uh, made the solution for you to make it uh simple uh, so that you don't watch me uh coding um everything from from scratch so what I did was, um, yeah, uh, C sharp. This list is same as um, um, an array as well. So it can actually be used sometimes interchangeably. Um, uh, so you, you, you have this is the array that will get passed, and then you need to first just declare um, a maximum sum, which is what we would want to return when we, when we, when we get the um, the maximum sum of uh, the uh, our glasses that we can get so from there we then have to loop um, through so first of all we have a first for loop and a second for loop the first one is actually looping through the rows and the second one is looping through the columns so if i just enter a little bit so for us uh, another thing that important to note is the boundaries that we the length of the array minus two so that we end at we don't uh end up um looking for other indices which are not uh, available and uh, that will uh complain actually so we need to make sure that the last um item that we're gonna look through is from this third one and then count these ones and not to uh sort of like end up here and then try to make even glass from this last indice here so that's what this is actually doing and then we do count plus plus as well as we look through inside uh, the columns as well so the first column that we'll get is in the array is row um it's actually it will be row zero column zero because if you can see it's row zero column zero and then we get that value and then that will be this one and then we also uh, plus um, row zero, um, row zero, column uh, zero plus one, that would be one. So it means we are going this direction. Um, and then as, as, as we go, that will be the, actually that will be the, the first column, the first part, which is this one, one, one part of the wine glass. So the second part, it will be, uh of the wine glass it will be this only single item that is here so for that we will always add row plus one which is the second row so in our case on our first loop row plus one it will be uh row um one and then um index we need column plus one so in our first row uh column is two zero so column plus one it will be one so that means that we need this guy here so we we then uh get that and then we also continue to do the same i think you get the the idea that if you want to get something we just say um row plus column row and column to get the actual index of it and then uh that's where we store sort of like the the current uh current total so uh then we check um if the current total is actually um greater than the the max so if it greater if it's greater than the max and then we just add um that um current uh what you call it that current um uh, max here and then we just return the the sum so if we try to run it uh just to see if this solution um works we we'll just Uh, check 
Yes, you see that it, this thing passes uh, the test cases. So an important to note is that for us to visit different um, different um, indices of values in a matrix, we need to visit it by uh, by actually checking row by columns. So that's a way to actually visit each and every indice that we have. So yeah, that's that's mainly it. Um, tell me if you have questions around this and then I will, I will explain more in terms of 2DRS. Thank you.